Hey guys, it is Wednesday, August 4th, 2021, and it is yet another day to go and check out those Aldi finds. If you know anything about me, you know I love to shop at Aldi, and every Wednesday they come out with what is called their Aldi finds. So I grabbed my purse and headed out to my local Aldi, which is in Mansfield, Texas. I wanted to show you guys what was in the sales paper for this week. The front shows all of the food and produce, and on the back, it shows all the houseware items, pet accessories, and all that good stuff. So I did pick up a couple of items at the end of the video. I'm gonna show you exactly what I got. I'm super excited about it. But for now, I'm gonna go ahead, throw some clothes on, and get ready to shop. Now I'm getting dressed. I love a good poncho. It is my go-to style. I have them in every length, color, you name it. I love them so much. I picked this one up from Walmart as well as the tank top. The shorts are from Ross. The shoes, believe it or not, are from Five Below. And I always top it off with a Coach Crossbody purse. Now I'm headed over to my Mansfield Aldi and we're gonna get shopping. So I saw this broom in the paper. I thought it was really cool. It's made of rubber and it's a three piece set. Comes with a dustpan and a smaller rubber brush. It is for picking up pet hair. And I think this will be perfect for those fine hairs that the Roomba or the vacuum does not get up. So I'm gonna go ahead and throw one in my cart. They have a lot of the same stuff that they've had all summer. Um, of course, the portable air conditioner is still there. That's kind of pricey, it's $199, so I didn't think that they would like sell out of those. So they still do have a couple. They have the outdoor umbrellas. I did not see this black color the first time, so I'm thinking that may have been in last week's paper, and maybe I missed it, but I thought that was so cute. I wanted it for my backyard because it matches, but all of my umbrellas are a tan color, so it wouldn't work, <laughs> so I left it there. Um, they had these hampers here. Pretty decent size. Um, I kind of feel like you can buy, you know, find these anywhere, Walmart, Target. Um, I didn't think it was a super great deal, but you know, if you don't want to go to another store, you know, just one stop shop kind of a thing, you can definitely just pick up the hamper while you're here. And then they had this portable pet <laughs> playpen, which I thought was so cute. I thought this was so adorable. My dogs would never stay inside of this. If you guys are familiar with my channel, you know I have two rescues and they are German Shepherd mixes and they are so rambunctious. They would never stay inside of this portable pet play plan. But I'm sure there is some well-behaved dog somewhere, <laughs> somewhere <laughs> that would appreciate this playpen, but I thought it was a pretty, um, pretty decent price. that triple water slide. Um, I purchased that a few weeks ago and took it up to Chicago for my godson's seventh birthday party and the kids just went crazy, they went wild. I left it up there with my best friend. It was a gift for them, so the kids had a ton of fun. They were soaking wet. You see those dog life vests are still there. The flower stands are still there. They do have a new stock of Febreze, Dawn dish soap, um, Cascade dishwasher pods, as well as Tide pods. I don't purchase any of those products um, just because of the dyes and things in them and I'm trying to really get away from them. But as you can see, they do have them in stock at Aldi. So again, you can compare the prices and see if it's a better deal at Aldi, but you know, some people just don't want to drive to multiple stores. So they'll just go ahead and get it while they're there. So I totally understand. They still have those little rugs from a couple weeks ago. They're now $7.99. And of course the garden gloves are still there because it's still summer. We're still planting. I just planted some watermelon the other day. Super late in the season, but I'm gonna give it a shot and see if I can maybe get a harvest by like October since I'm down here in Texas. It'll still have time to grow. They have this foldable workbench, which I thought was super duper cool. I really wanted to get it, but we are running out of room in our shed, which is where we keep all of our tools. And so I just didn't want to buy another thing, but I know, you know, it may come in handy, but we'll just have to make do. They have these adorable mats that you can connect together. 
Uh, one looks like hardwood floor. They have it in a teal color and a gray. I thought this would be so cute in a kid's playroom, depending on the aesthetic you're going for. And you know, that way you don't have to, you're not just stuck like those black floor mats. Um, I thought that was like a really, really cute option. They have this pet travel cot. I purchased this travel cot a few years ago um, when I first got the dogs and they've grown out of it. So I sold them on Facebook Marketplace, but um, the, the dogs loved it. When they could fit on it, <laughs> they loved it. They have these pet antler ears that the dogs can nibble on. These are actual real antler, not antler ears. <laughs> Antler like snaps or what did it antler splinters antler splinters So I guess it came from a real animal and they like cut the antler. I don't know I don't even want to say it out loud. I just picked it up to show you guys it kind of creeped me out I put it down fairly quickly But um, they had some really cool stuff in this week. So they have this really cool storage workstation I thought this was so cute for a kids room teenager or whatever the case even a college student um, that way you have the soft and cushy side you can put on your lap, sit your laptop on top, and it even opens up for you to keep your pens and paper clips and things like that on the inside. So dealing with a small space, but you still wanna be stylish and have something that's functional, I thought that was a really cute option. So they have these briefs and they also have some underwear for kiddos. The blue ones um, are, I guess, designated for boys and they come eight in a pack and the pink ones are designated for girls and they come 10 in a pack. They are the exact same price, but the boys get two less pairs of underwear. So <laughs> I'm not really sure why, but listen, I'm, I'm just showing you guys. I don't make the rules, right? They still have the Crofton pans which is a lot of fun. They are $12.99. I think the colors are so fun. They don't match my aesthetic in my house, so I won't be purchasing them, but I wanted you guys to know they still have them. They are ceramic. The two-piece um, is $12.99, and then you can get a larger pan for $12.99. So I guess three pieces total, you know, will run you, you know, just to hear over 25 bucks if you wanted some ceramic pans. But I thought the aesthetic on these was really, really cute. I thought this table was so cute. It is in style right now, and I was shocked to see that Aldi had it, and they had it in abundance. So if you want a little side table for your living room, for your couch, or you know, family room, that is a really cute option. They also have this coat rack, or you know, clothing garment rack, which I thought was super cute and super cheap for $7.99. Maybe you're starting a little small boutique, right? And you need some garment racks on a budget, you can get them brand new for $7.99 from, from Aldi. I don't know, you know, how much they are at Amazon and all those other places, but I thought it was a good deal. On this side of the aisle, what I've been showing you guys is pretty much all of the new Aldi finds. Um, they had some really good stuff in this week. I gotta say, I was surprised. I didn't need much of it. Like I said, I did pick up that broom and I'll show you guys everything else that I picked up when I get home. Um, but however, if you are in the market for any of this other stuff, like I feel like Aldi did a really good job of bringing some stuff in this week. They have fans, fans, fans galore. Every size fan you could ever think of, they have it in store. If you are a teacher or a homeschooler, um, they have these erase markers, 24 in a pack, and then they have those highlighters. They have color pencils, crayons, even toys for the kiddos. And over to the right, I saw this super cool puzzle. It's a sound puzzle. And so if the kids pick up the pieces and sit it back down, it like makes a noise. That way, you know, you're teaching them correlation and what to put where. I thought that was adorable. So again, I mean, I can't say it enough. I feel like they, they really, you know, got some good stuff in this week. Um, so check out your local Aldi, see what they have. A, a tip is if you live in a busy area and that Aldi is always depleted, go out to the suburban areas, go to the areas where you kind of don't think the demographic would shop at Aldi, but there is Aldi out there. You typically can find um, what you're looking for. So give that a try. If you're really looking to save money, become, become an Aldi girl or Aldi guy, <laughs> um, you know, you might want to just drive out a little bit if you can. 
if you you know if you have access to transportation I did pick up these utensil organizers. I'll show you guys those when I get home. I'll show you the quality of them and which ones I picked up. They did have a variety here. But from here on out, I'm just gonna let you guys listen to the music, enjoy yourself, dance a little bit, get inspired, get your notepad out so you can jot down stuff on your grocery list. And I will see you in a few moments to show you my haul. And trust me, you are going to want to stay tuned you are going to be shocked at what I found in this Aldi.
began to wrap up my visit at this store. I just wanted to let you guys know that I will be back next week with a cleaning video. Yay! <laughs> Super excited. I will go through the Aldi sales paper and look at some Aldi finds for you and take a quick trip and show you what I've got, go over my Aldi finds haul but it won't be a full video just of all defines it's going to be a little bit of all defines and a little bit of cleaning and i cannot wait to see you guys next week so we can clean together get stuff nice and sudsy and shiny and bright and beautiful again all right guys so i just returned from aldi I picked up just a couple of things. I did not need to do a full grocery haul because I just did that the other day between Aldi and Walmart. But as you guys know, I go to Aldi almost every Wednesday. And since this is the beginning of the month, the beginning of August, I wanted to check out what they had in store, see if they had any fall finds in there. I didn't see anything fall related yet, but they did have some really, really cool Aldi finds. So if you get a chance, check your local paper because the paper did come out or just swing by an Aldi and just grab a paper if you're not ready to shop. Of course, they have all of their food items on the front and on the back. You can find all of their Aldi finds. So I'm gonna show you today what I picked up. Also picked up a sneak peek of next week so I can have an idea. Looks like it is, yeah, it's just a one pager this week. So I don't know if you guys can see that. So this is coming up for next week. Looks like they've got an air fryer. Um, a bunch of good stuff. They got some new scents of the candles coming out, some solar stake um, lights, these little collapsible baskets. That's really cool. I've seen a lot of those in YouTube videos, not this brand, but that's cool that they're coming out with their version. Some more Crofton um, ceramic cooking pans, beautiful throw. I'm gonna show you guys in just a sec and like some kids um, shoes and clothes and things like that. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful throw. So this is for next week. So this is for August 11th. This starts Wednesday, August 11th. And this one is currently in the store, which started today. So I wanna show you guys what I picked up. So I picked up some concentrated bleach. Lately, I've been using concentrated bleach because it's thicker and I can thin it out. I can just buy one jar. If it does cost a little bit more than regular bleach. You can get bleach as cheap as like 89 cents to a dollar. You guys know I like to separate my cleaning supplies and I'll put, I have a basket of cleaning supplies upstairs. I have a basket of cleaning supplies under my cabinet here. So I like to buy one jar of whatever it is, whether it's bleach, pine saw, and just put a little bit of the concentrated version in my spray bottles and separate it and have them all over the house. That way it saves me a ton of money and I don't have to buy a bunch of bottles of the same product and take up a ton of space. They had this really cool three piece pet hair broom set. So I'm gonna put this up nice and close for you guys. So it comes with a broom. I'm gonna go ahead and open it. So it looks like it's a short broom, right? But it isn't, it extends. So it has a brush here. I wanna show you guys the bristles on this. You see that? Isn't that cool? So yeah, it's rubber. And I'm thinking this is gonna be really good for like Get in corners where like the the Roomba didn't get really good or the vacuum didn't get really good and then I'm thinking about using this guy out on my patio because on my back patio I have this like green um, faux grass instead of carpet on in the covered patio section um, and it's hard to get the dog hair out of there because the dogs love to lay out there so I'm thinking once I use the air the blower I can go over it with this and pick up any fine hair. How cool is that? So these are actually Aldi finds from last week. I did get a chance to go to Aldi last week because um, I had a conflict in my schedule, but these large drawer organizers, super excited about that. So I'm gonna try to use these in my kitchen. My kitchen drawers aren't horribly disorganized, but they could be better. So this has so many cool compartments. One, two, three, four, five, six compartments. So I picked up two of these, and then I picked up two of these, where it's just three, um, because I don't know what's gonna fit where, so I've purchased more than I'm actually gonna use. And if I need to take anything back to Aldi, I kept my receipt. So they definitely take returns at Aldi, by the way. So 
Don't ever be afraid to grab something, especially if it's an Aldi find and you don't know if you're gonna see it again in the coming weeks, grab it. And if you don't need it, you can always take it back. Then I picked up some reusable bags. I'm trying to get a lot better, guys. Even when I go to Walmart, I wanna start using reusable bags because I definitely still use the gray shopping bags that they provide for you um, at Walmart and Kroger and things like that. So I wanna be a lot better. So I picked up four of these guys and four of these guys and i'm just going to leave them in my trunk um so once i'm done here i'm going to take these bags out to my trunk because if not if i store them in the house i'm going to forget them i do the majority of the bulk grocery shopping in my house my husband will buy like random things here and there but i do the bulk shopping so for me this is perfect i can leave them in my car and it won't be a big deal i picked up some eggs as always gotta have my eggs we go through eggs like crazy in this house and these are all defined as well. So they don't just have like home goods or home accessories as all defines. They also have food. So this is five crab cakes. I've had these before. They're absolutely delicious. They were $3.99 for five crab cakes. So this is what we're having for dinner tonight. Actually, my husband um, is going to work in a bit. So I may cook them now. Um, so he can take some with him so he can eat his dinner when he's flying back. Thanks to everyone for all your prayers and love that you've sent Scott and I. He's a lot better. He now goes to physical therapy once a month. His back is almost 100% healed. I think it's going to be an ongoing issue like throughout his lifetime, but he just needs to like modify how he works out, how he moves, strengthen certain areas so that um, he can avoid having a severe back injury in the future but he officially came back to work as of yesterday so super excited about that um he said when he got home his hips hurt a little bit because he hadn't been used to walking that much through airports but overall he felt fine and he's going to work again today so thank you again for all of your thoughts and prayers we definitely appreciate it so i'm going to get these crab cakes put up and get everything put away and throw these bags back into my trunk Again, I cannot thank you guys enough. Thank you so much for all of the love and support. I will see you guys next week for another Aldi haul and cleaning video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. I'd love to hear from you. Talk to you soon. Bye.